Hello and welcome to the 11th film in the standard level organic topic. Um, here we're going to be looking at the last few functional groups that we need to be familiar with um, on the standard level course and they're the amines, esters and aromatic compounds. Um, so hopefully by the end of this film um, you'll simply be able to spot those functional groups. Okay, So unlike with the other functional groups we've looked at, you don't have to name these compounds as a standard level student, you just have to be able to spot the functional group. Now, what does that mean to you? Well it means that if you spot a molecule that's for example got an NH2 group in it, you have to know that this molecule could be called an amine, right? but not be able to name the structure that you see in front of you. Okay, It could well be that a molecule could be an alcohol and an amine, so for example if you had an OH group at the end you could call this molecule both an alcohol or an amine, but what you have to be able to do is spot an NH2 group in a molecule, so here's another one, Okay, and you need to be, as soon as you spot that carbon bonded to NH2, you need to go, oh right, that's an amine. Okay, and if you see it in a structural formula, it will be written like that. It will simply just have NH2 in it. Okay, so quite simple, I suppose. And as I say, you don't have to name amines, you just have to be able to say to yourself, I can see an NH2 group, therefore this molecule could be classified as an amine. Similarly with esters, you don't have to name esters, but you have to be able to spot the functional group. And these are another example of a carbonyl compound because they've got a carbon-oxygen double bond in them. In this case, you've got to have um, an oxygen single bonded to that carbon. And then there has to be some other chain here. So this can't be an... Okay, so this... Sorry, let's just make this a little bit clearer. This could not be a hydrogen because if it was, you'd have carbon-oxygen double bond an OH here, and as you should know if you've watched the previous film, that would then be called a carboxylic acid functional group. Okay, This can be a hydrogen, that's fine, Okay, but you have to have a carbon chain attached to either side of this oxygen here that I'm going to circle in red. Okay, So carbon-oxygen double bond just like we've got here, this can be a hydrogen, that's fine, then an oxygen, and then we have to have a carbon chain attached to that oxygen, I suppose, to stop it being a carboxylic acid. And quite similar to carboxylic acids, when you see their structural formulas, okay, an ester will have COO in it, but instead of having an H on the end, it will have whatever this carbon chain is. Okay, so there's esters for you. And again, you don't have to name esters, you just have to be able to spot them. So if someone asked you to circle, for example, an ester functional group in a molecule, you'd go, there it is. Okay? I suppose you might choose to include that carbon. But anyway, finally, what do we mean by aromatic compounds? Now, I'm going to give you a rather simplistic um, explanation of what an aromatic compound is, because it doesn't really cover all the bases, but it's good enough for standard level. In fact, it's good enough for high level as well. Any time you see uh, what is called a benzene ring, so six carbons all attached together using all, well, alternating double and single bonds is one way of thinking about it, although that doesn't really do the molecule justice. Okay, So six carbons in a ring with only one other bond each is called a benzene ring. And we can have things attached to benzene rings, and we can draw benzene rings in all sorts of different ways. They're either drawn like this, with six carbons and alternating double and single bonds, or sometimes this alternating double and single bonds pattern is simply represented as a circle inside the ring. Okay, So that's how we spot an aromatic compound for our purposes, although you can have aromatic compounds that are, have five-membered rings in them as well, and all sorts of other things. But what we're looking for is this C6, this C6 ring that only has one bond to each carbon. So here we can see there's our six carbons in the ring. Each one of them has a hydrogen attached to it, except for one of them, which must have this CH3 group. Okay. In this ring, what this doesn't show, this structure is the hydrogens attached, but you assume if they're blank that these are hydrogens. 
going a little bit beyond standard level here when we're talking about this stuff and then we've got an OH group so this would be called actually a phenol but because it's got a benzene ring in it it's called an aromatic compound okay so again these are things you need to spot so if in um, a question you were asked to highlight the aromatic group you'd be circling the benzene ring okay so there we are that's tied up all the different functional groups that as a uh, standard level student you need to be familiar with okay so we've looked here at amines esters and aromatic compounds and if you're not sure about any of those or you've got any questions or comments then please come and see me or post a comment on the YouTube channel